Hi, it's Mark Wood. We've had a disaster, uh, but we've got a way around it. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video um, and uh, to explain what's happened. Um, and hopefully this could help anyone else that's had the same issue. So I'm here um, at our latest commercial conversion. It's uh, very, very near completion. Um, and we've had the, the sound test um, done um, to comply with building regs. Um, and unfortunately, one of the um, one of the walls, this wall here, has failed. Um, it's the only wall in the in the whole building that's failed, which is which is good because um, I want to be resolving uh, sound test failures all over the building. I think we'd have not done a good job if that had happened. So so what happened is this wall is between um, two apartments. Um, it's between the bedroom of one apartment and the kitchen of another. Um, and when we designed this project, we, we got advice um, to say that the, a, a soundboard, one soundboard and one fireboard on either side of a, of a timber stud wall um, with insulation in the middle would be, would be okay and would pass. Um, but unfortunately, in this case, it, it hasn't between these two rooms. Um, so what we've had to do is we've had to build another stud wall in front in the bedroom here, another stud wall in front of the the, the existing wall, um, more with a 10 mil gap. So you have to have a 10 mil, um, 10 millimeter gap between the existing wall and the new wall with not touching. Um, and then with new insulation and then soundboard again, which is the blue plasterboard. Um, and then we've had it re-skimmed, redecorated, um, skirting boards on. And the good news is We've had the guy around again today to do the sound test and it's passed. So that's a good result and uh, away we go. We've got that certificate off now to building control. So hopefully we'll get signed off in the next few days. So yeah, I hope that helped. If anyone else has um, had the same problem, um, feel free to give me a shout if you, if you need any more help. Cheers.